What's up guys, it's Charles here with Rocket Punch Armor to Do. I guess an unboxing. Uh, you guys may have checked out the review I did of the uh, pre-production version, the prototype version of the Armor Rotters Bellerophon. But finally I have the uh, production version here which uh, Mecha Workshop was awesome enough to send over. Uh, I'm just so happy because I've really been looking forward to it. It's one of the greatest things I've ever been able to handle. And I'm not just saying that because they sent it over. I'm saying that because it's true. Uh, the prototype blew me away. The construction, the finish. Uh, and you guys know I love Sentinel products. This is made by Sentinel. You know it's got to be good. So if you didn't check out the uh, prototype uh, review, check it out because most of the information is there. But we will check out the unboxing and see how it came out in final form. Now you'll see down here it does have the first edition exclusive contents first production run. We look to the side, it is a sleeve type box and it is split in two. It's got some nice chrome artwork. Let's just move up and check out the graphics here. All right, so this main area has the figure and this here has the stand. We turn it around, see some photography here of uh, all the little joints and pieces, uh, the bare, naked, whatever we want to call it, the base robot, and then of course all the attachments on here and these are the separate attachments which go on here uh, to this guy to form that and here he is a nice big picture you got some literature here about the mech and the pilot and the story uh, in Japanese also and of course some more excellent photography we we'll move down a couple of more pictures down here and we look at the other side here you'll notice it got some chrome illustrations uh, very beautiful it really lets you know that there's something beautiful and important inside this box You'll also see the nice little satin finish, which feels nice. Ooh. So we're going to remove the little sleeve on this box and check out the inner contents. All right, so here's the main tray. I love the way everything's laid out. It's very neat. Also, the little window box design, a big plus. We move down, you'll see the robot is nice and protected with some plastic in there. And you'll see the rest of the contents, including Cameron Knox. And just to give you an idea of the enormity of this box, I've been using this a lot for scale comparisons, but here's an SH Figure Arts Stormtrooper. How about we put a little Stormtrooper type looking uh, Sentinel product. We got the little Mechatro white there, and then we'll scan up. You'll see how much bigger this box is. Now let's turn the box around. We're going to check out this awesome illustration right here on the back. Look at that. Also done in the nice satin finished cardboard. A lot of detail, a lot of nice coloring, very beautiful artwork. Now I don't have tons of space, but the box does lean over on its side, and you can split it to reveal even more artwork. Start off on the left here and just pan all across. A lot of attention went into the making of this box. Now because we have paid a lot of attention to the box since it's the first time we're seeing a box uh, in production, we're going to move down to the uh, tray here which includes the actual robot so we're gonna see if uh, there's any improvements that have been done over the prototype now what I love when I took this figure out is that it's not only just covered in plastic but there's also like uh, bubble wrap behind the kneecaps here so uh, the surfaces don't scuff there was also bubble wrap over the chest and over the feet which I really do appreciate especially with a figure uh, with a finish of this level. One of the only things uh, with mine was that this piece uh, did pop off during shipping and scuff a little piece there uh, which uh, you know revealed to me that this is die cast metal because I can see the metal there but uh, you know other than that the figure is absolutely beautiful uh, this is no fault of the manufacturer just the shipping but um, yeah, I gotta say right away I can tell there's a big difference uh, the prototype and it's fair to say the prototype was you know handled a lot because uh, the prototype was actually good quality, but uh, I can definitely feel a big difference, I've, especially the ankles. One of the things on uh, the prototype was that it just kept falling over because of the ankles. The ankles are now nice and tight. All the joints seem to be a lot tighter. The ratchets are still just as awesome. Listen to that. That's crazy. All the other joints are, are nice and tight. You got the head here on a tilt on the neck. The head also turns back and forth. You got these little shoulder pieces that ratchet back and forth. The legs move forward on soft ratchets. You get this swivel here. Uh, pretty much everything I showed you guys with the prototype, just a little bit firmer. 
One of the other things I found amazing on the prototype was the Temple printing. It was absolutely top notch. No different on the finished figure. Uh, everything is still nice and sharp, uh, which is one of the things I love on a, a lot of robot figures is just the quality of the Temple printing. And there's really nothing negative I could say about the quality of this Temple printing. It's absolutely beautiful. Still retains the awesome articulated fingers, which I did the little uh, animated video of. They don't seem to be doing that weird thing uh, that the uh, prototype was doing, which is was throwing the fingers all to one side, which is a, a cool thing. I guess they somehow either updated it, but I myself am a big fan of articulated fingers, and I love the articulated fingers on this guy. So we're going to go ahead and attach the parts here uh, to give them the full look. Again, very beautiful finish. I, I can't harp on enough about the finish on this thing. I can't even... It, it's a satin finish, which is why it's, you're not seeing gloss on there, but it's just feels good in the hands. But those uh, we're just going to pop on right here. We're also going to attach these pods right back here in the back. You'll see these slot right in. Pop these on the sides here. And of course one of the coolest things about this set is the inclusion of cam here. It does have uh, you know, a little gun thing that folds out and everything which you'll see in the uh, review of the prototype. But here he is. I want to show you the cool awesome gimmick which you just pull out the chest here all right and then open this up and you'll see it's got the little cockpit area there we're just going to situate the cam right in there and then there's these little pegs on the side to put his hands in now it takes a little bit of work but once you get his hands right on those little pegs it's oh so worth it and we'll close that right back up it's also got this awesome weapon here which has this cartridge here which you can remove and attach to the side here but we're just going to go ahead and leave it right on the gun and attach the gun to his hand now with any well-designed articulated hand, it's always a good idea to have a tab molded into the gun and also a little place to put it in on the hand so it secures tightly. So we'll go ahead and peg that in there. Want to feed the uh, trigger finger first, then the thumb around and get the peg lined up to the hole and then wrap the fingers around. Now you've got one badass looking robot. And these cartridges, uh, there's also four more so you can fill up the legs here and you also do get another gun. So pretty much what I showed you in the prototype. If you guys remember from the uh, prototype video, it also comes with these weapons. I believe this might be the exclusive uh, to this since this is packed separately from the blister pack. But these are the very, very, very pointy circular weapons. And of course it does come with this awesome stand, but you're going to have to check out the full review for that one which is uh, in the link below. So uh, yeah, so this is uh, the end of the video guys. It's just a quick unboxing just to show you what it looks like in final production form. Still blown away, still think this is one of the best built robots I have seen in a very, very long time. It's not much of a surprise seeing as it does come from Sentinel. This is very well designed. The engineers behind this did a great job. Sentinel did an awesome job in getting this into uh, a real life version that we can hold in our hands. And it's every bit as good as I thought it was going to be after handling the prototype. If you want to pick one of these up guys, there's a link in the description below to BBTS where you can uh, grab one of these. Uh, it's definitely worth every penny. Please make sure to check out the review of the prototype which explains everything. It shows you the stand, it shows you everything else, plus the things that were improved in this version. If you're enjoying our videos, please like, tell your friends, share, Support the channel so I can bring you some more videos in the future. Until next time, bye-bye.